Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. in shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the glint hawk that perched upon the alight? It speaks scripture. Araman. 
Mother and Father of the Shadow, cast from the Spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the Shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the Sun. But in times of need, the powers of Shadow can accomplish what the Sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. The Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades, and it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight with spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Mirad? 
Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaran cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Son, bless you for saving the Sun King. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy? When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. She didn't even hesitate. She stood between the assassin and our sun king. Meridian. Huh. So you must be Aloy then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throat so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. Nice and wide. No need to aim like a bow. Down you go. Geneva. 
They called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion? Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. Nakoa, you came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helos. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the sacred land is opened. If we win, I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the Goddess says. Or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The anointed. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. these guys they call themselves the eclipse what does that even mean it's when the moon gets in front of the sun idiot is that supposed to sound scary or something 
I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line. line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't, can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? Guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. There are signs from the west. Sun King of Odd awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Fires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. And what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do as she says <laughs> set loaded all of you be ready to fire Ooh. will the guns hold them back No! 
Rally the Vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! The shadow will reach you where you have fixed me. Oh, Should have fought me in a sun ring then. Got eyes on him. The end is inevitable. No. Finish this. Accept. Accept. Meet.
but beware! Chance to catch a breath and prepare.
Aloy. 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 Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. It must have gotten through the defenses. 
Nora. Aaron's vanguard. I have to get up there. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. Last chance.
battle is ours. System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. Master Override Arm. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best.
If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Friend, remember me. We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. <laughs> 